As Singapore Defense Minister Dr. Ng Hen says China must decide for itself if it finds it meaningful to participate in engagements on an open platform such as the Shangri-La Dialogue. Dr. Ng was responding to a question about the value of the dialogue at the final plenary session on security in the Asia-Pacific and whether the forum is skewed. Brandon Tenoto with more. One vocal view on how the Shangri-La Dialogue, or SLD, is organized. A representative from the People's Liberation Army questioned Dr. Ng and International Institute for Strategic Studies Chief Executive Dr. John Chipman on the role of the forum. I think it is a perfect moment to sum up what roles the Shangri-La Dialogue has played in this region. So my question goes to Dr. Huang and also Dr. Chairman. And I have heard a lot of views, and some view Shangri-La Dialogue as positive, thinking it's a forum bringing together high-ranking officials and scholars from uh, this region to improve communication and exchanges. But there are negative views, views the Shangri-La Dialogue as a forum dominated by the United States and its allies, serving the interests of the U.S. and its allies. And also the topics, it says, often point to differences rather than cooperation and the divergence rather than convergence. So my question is, what role uh, over the past years uh, Shangri-La Dialogue uh, has played in Asia-Pacific security? And uh, how do you view the comments, uh, the, the opinions I have mentioned above? I've attended a number of conferences. I've attended the Asangshan Forum. And sometimes it's a matter of taste. Uh, I can imagine that people from the PLA come here and find this raucous, a bit rambunctious. Uh, this is the Western liberal mode of uh, many ideas. And from this, you're supposed to gain wisdom. And they go back and say it was thoroughly discombobulating. Uh, that's entirely uh, understandable. On the other hand, uh, when things are too structured, uh, too predictable, People don't like to attend those because they feel that it's too scripted, uh, that uh, when you say things, uh, the end is already determined. So why not not say it and just send me something and I can read it you know, rather than travel you know, a few thousand miles to arrive in Singapore? Is it better to come to an open platform to subject yourself sometimes to a tyranny of questions to what might seem a common view from others, to explain yourself, or to retreat from that engagement. That is something that China must decide for itself. Now, following Dr. Ng's response to Mr. Chow during the plenary, Dr. Ng was also asked by the media in a wrap-up interview after on whether there could be a possibility that China would reduce the rank of the delegation attending the future editions of the Shangri-La Dialogue or not attend it altogether, and what this could mean for the rigour of debate. Now, this is considering that China hasn't sent a defence minister-level delegation to the dialogue in eight years. It was only in 2019 and this year that Chinese defence minister Wei Fenghe was sent. SLD is a security forum. Uh, there is no compulsion for anyone to come. And the value really must for anyone is whether they feel at the end of it they are better off than not. When you attend meetings that are very much in Europe or America, this doesn't stand out as anything different. But I've attended Shangshan Forum. Uh, it's very systematic uh, and it's useful, but I'll be honest, and I've said so to my, 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 my host when I go there. Sometimes you wish for a little more exchange, you know, because you feel as if something is unsaid and or something is said just to be polite, courteous. It's a Chinese culture. Uh, you're just saying it to be courteous, but, you know, after you leave my door, you whisper something, and then I don't know how you feel. It doesn't really... so. Uh, we'll take all feedback. I mean, double I, double S will take it. Uh, but I, I, I would think that over the years, uh, it has helped other countries looking onto China understand China a bit more. 
China's Xiangshan Forum is a multilateral international dialogue platform discussing Asian security and defence security issues. Dr Ng last attended the forum in 2019. It sees participation from defence and military leaders, heads of international organisations, as well as academics from both in and out of the Asia-Pacific region.